Kyle and Ben, congratulations. You guys are moving forward into round three. Only the man next to you stands between you, the title of Forge and Fire champion, and that coveted check for $10,000. In round three, we're gonna send you guys back home to recreate an iconic weapon from history. That weapon is... The Vajra Mushti. Wow. Originating in India, the Vajra Mushti is an edged knuckle duster. The unique design features sharpened blades on every side of the handle, making it a specialty weapon only wielded by well-trained Indian warriors. The sharp edges on all sides provided the user with a wide range of lethal attacks, from deadly stabs and slashes to devastating punches. A traditional Indian martial art where the weapon is tied to the fists of wrestlers has lineage dating back to the Middle Ages and is still practiced today by professional wrestlers in India using non-lethal knuckle dusters. I don't even I don't even know what to say. The closest thing I've seen to that is probably a pair of brass knuckles. We're gonna send you guys home for four days, and when you guys come back, I wanna see two blades worth at least ten thousand dollar piece. So do your absolute best work and good luck. We'll see you in four days. Awesome. Good luck, man. Good luck. <laughs> I feel good to be back home here in Bellows Falls, Vermont, and we're going to make the Vajra Mushti. I've never made a Vajra Mushti or anything close to it, so I decided to use 1084 carbon steel because it's something I'm more familiar with. I think the most difficult part of the challenge will be making the handle, something that I'm definitely going to have to pay a lot of attention to. The two smaller blades are basically the same. One's a little longer than the other, you know, and then the other blade's just a big rectangle. Five hours into it, I feel pretty good. Uh, one more soak in the forge, and then I'll quench them. Now I got all the forging out of the way, so I'm feeling good. End of day one, I'm really glad I got the heat treat done. Looks good. Day two, I'm a little tired this morning, but I feel great, ready to get this show on the road. I decide that I'm gonna go with a torch heat treatment because the handle doesn't need to be hard. I just need the blades hard and the knuckle blade hard. So I did one, and I'm scared I'm gonna crack it in half because right after the quench, it is brittle. So any little shock or hit could cause catastrophic cracking. Luckily, I don't see any cracks, so I think the quench went well. That's gonna have to do. It's beginning of day two, and I can't wait to get started for the handle. I'm gonna go with copper. It's moving a lot better than I thought it was going to. I wanna pay really close attention to detail. I wanna make a $10,000 knife. Today, I'm able to remove three pounds off a five pound chunk of copper, and now I've got a nice workable piece. Tomorrow, I'd like to get the handle all finished up and the blades fitted on. That's basically it. It's day four, ready to get this thing done. So I just got done doing the profiling on my Bajra Mushti. Feels pretty good. I'm gonna start doing fit up on the handle. I'm feeling great. Uh, at the end of the day, I used every minute that I had. There's definitely some finishing touches that I didn't get to that I wish I had, uh, mainly the handle. I'm hoping that there's not, you know, major hot spots around the knuckles or anything like that. It can look like crap, but as long as it feels comfortable in your hand, you know, that's fine. I feel good. I mean, I definitely did the best that I could. Bladesmiths, welcome to the kill test. Find out what kind of lethal damage your weapon will do. I will take your weapon and deliver multiple lethal blows on this ballistics dummy. Kyle, you're up first. You ready? Oh, yeah. All right, Kyle, let's talk about your weapon here. I was worried about the finger welds that you had there, that they would be an issue, especially when I'm punching. No issues there. I like the fact that as it gets slippery, it gave me a very good grip. Overall, it is a beautiful piece, and your weapon will kill. Oh, yeah. All right, Ben, your turn, sir. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this.
All right, Ben, let's talk about your weapon here. The edges are very sharp, but there are some sharp edges that you have in here. Every movement started to give me a little bruise and cut off some skin right there. But in terms of what this weapon will do, it will kill. Thanks, Doug. My hand. <laughs> All right, Blaze Fist, welcome to the strength test. To test the strength and durability of your Vajra Mushtis, as well as their overall construction, I'll be stabbing and punching into this sheet metal and chain. Kyle, you're up first. You ready for this? Yep. All right, Kyle, in this strength test, your two long blades held up great. The center blade here took some chipping on that chain. I'm looking at the grain in there, and it's, it's pretty big. Uh, I would have liked to have seen that refined. But in general, these two blades held up well. Nice job. Awesome. Thanks, Ben. All right, Ben, you're up. You ready for this? Sure am. All right, Ben, well, the first thing I feel when I pick this weapon up is its sheer mass. I mean, it's a heavy, heavy weapon. That did you some justice in the strength test. The only thing I could see is a little bit of glinting on the lower blade, but the middle blade, it took a pretty major deflection right here. It kind of cracked one more little, little hit here, and that would just come off. The main thing working against you on this blade is the rough inner surface. I couldn't really find a real comfortable way of getting this finger out of harm's way. But after the strength test is all in one piece, nice job. Thank you. All right, Bladesmiths, we know your weapons can heal, and we know they are strong. Now it's time to find out just how sharp they are. To find out, we'll take your weapons and deliver some stabs and slices on these spice bags. Kyle, you're up first. You ready for this? Yep. Let's do this. All right, Kyle, let's talk about your weapon. It is comfortable. It's a good fit on my hand. It's got a pointy enough tip over there, but with that one piece where you're missing some edges, it was more of a jagged cut. When it came to stabbing and slashing on both weapons on each end, it'll cut. Good job. Thank you, Doug. Ben, your turn, sir. You ready? Ready. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, Ben, let's talk about your weapon. The weight that you have here back up the cut because you have very sharp edges and the cuts are very deep. But my hand, when I'm making impact, still rubs on the inside of your handle. But other than that, sir, your beast, it will cut. Thanks, Doug. All right, guys, you guys both came through with unbelievable pieces of work verging on art. And they performed almost equally on all the tests. Unfortunately, we can only send one of you guys home with the title of Fortune Fire Champion and a check for $10,000. And our champion today is... Kyle, congratulations. Ben, unfortunately, you're not walking home the champion today. Doug's gonna tell you why. Ben, I commend you on building a very unique weapon, but only your handle affected both of us when we were testing it. For that reason, we're sending you home. Totally understand. Well, uh, Ben, you obviously showed you have what it takes to be in the forge and to compete with some of the best. But unfortunately, the time has come and I have to ask you to leave the forge floor. Thank you, guys. This was awesome, for sure. Good job. Kyle, amazing job. Honestly, I feel great. I mean, it was an amazing experience. I'm super happy for Kyle. I it had a feeling that handle was going to get me, but I busted my butt and honestly did the best that I could. So I don't have any regrets. 
Well, Kyle, congratulations. You'll be leaving here with the title, Forge and Fire champion, and a check for $10,000. Congratulations. Thank you. My wife's going to be super pumped when I tell her that I'm the next Forge and Fire champion. What are you going to do with that cash, man? My wife and I are probably going to use it for a down payment on a house. That's cool. yeah. absolutely nice. fantastic. Nice. Cool. 18 months ago, I would have never imagined being here today. Hell yeah, I'm Forged and Fire champion. <laughs>